The names of the individuals in the following conversation have been changed to protect their identities. Hey Jude, I just thought of a cool item to add to the game. Oh really? What is it? An item that lets players attract bugs to farm. Sounds great, but what if the attacking bugs only drop their most common resource? Even better, so the players will only get the parts they don't need. And they'll have to repair their base, armor, and weapon. Let's get to work. So all jokes aside, we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be one of the new items that was added in the Bug Strike Back public test server. That is the Wafter. Now, in order to unlock this, you're going to have to go back and recomplete the Black Anthill Lab. That chip will let you purchase it from Burgle. I think it's 2,500 raw science. And the crafting cost for it is going to be four acorn shells, four flower petals, four sap. Super cheap. The way this thing function is, functions is you deposit resources and it'll attract bugs. As an example, if I put red ant parts in there, it's going to attract red worker ants and red soldier ants. You can also do black ants. You can do termites. You can do bees, mosquitoes, infected, and or weavers or spiders, which I think is or weavers and or weaver juniors. I don't think it's wolf spiders. At least I haven't seen any. So those are the different bugs that you can currently attract with this thing. The way it works is you kill the enemies that come and they drop resources and you get them. Now, the reason this thing is, I'm kind of shocked that it actually made its way into the game. As you'll see when we show the resources for me successfully completing this. We're going to do the red ant one because it's pretty easy and we'll see what happens when I succeed. Basically, you kill the enemies. They're going to drop resources. That's the rewards you're going to get. The resources that you deposit in here will be, if, whether you win or lose, they are going to be consumed. So as an example, I'm going to place these all in here. And what you can do is you can hit Unleash Wave. That'll trigger this thing to start. And putting more resources in or putting higher tier resources in will determine how many of the insects come. And also, some of the some of these have a higher rage meter. I think the highest is three out of four. So if you put like termite, if you put the termite king carapace in for the termites as an example, it's going to give you more of a rage added than the just the regular termite parts. So those are all the parts that that's those, that's the basic gist of this. And the only reason I'm testing this thing out is because last night on I was on the ground at Discord in the public test server channels, and the community man a couple of the community managers were in there, and I put in the suggestion saying, can the mixers be repeatable? Uh, this is a common request. Lots of people have asked for this. And when I've asked people, pretty much everybody said yes. Most people that enjoy them want to be able to play them over again. Unfortunately, the answer that I received was the current plan is for them to not be repeatable. The current plan is for them to be one time. Now, this is not set in stone, but that is the current plan. And to be honest, as close as we are to full full release, I think it's probably unlikely they're going to be de be able to deviate from their current plan and be able to make a massive change like that because that's not just something like you flip a switch and make them repeatable. You'd have to program it and everything. Honestly, the way we wanted to see it work was similar to how this thing works where you could insert a resource. So basically, you would deposit a resource. If you succeed, you would get more of that resource. So as this example, if I put in eight red ant parts, I could maybe get back 16 or 24 depending maybe each wave you last doubled it or something like that but it would allow you to put in any part and the usefulness for that would be able to put in parts that you want to get actually like twinkling shells quartzite grub hides stuff like that you'd put those resources in and depending on the the higher the tier of it it would depend which bugs would come so like if you put twinkling shells in they're a tier three resource you would get attacked by tier three enemies so i think that would be kind of fair and that's kind of what we suggested but unfortunately that's not what we have so basically what i was told was wafters are basically mixers on the go place them down and you can be able to defend them so i do want to test this out because the base raid base defense stuff was the thing i'm most interested in in my main survival world i have done one i did the first mixture the one in the grassland i also had an ant faction raid a red ant faction raid and both of those were pretty cool i'm going to do the rest of them hopefully this week or do the rest of the mixers hopefully this week or hopefully before the public test server is over so i can get feedback on those i was supposed to have a black ant raid but unfortunately Unfortunately, the game crashed. My one and only crash in like 15 or 16 hours was when that was supposed to happen and then ended up not happening when I reloaded. So I've only had one faction raid. Both of those I did like and the the, re the rewards you got for it were like whatever. I mean, the raw science, so I guess will be okay if you need a raw science. I don't. And I believe the other one, I'm not exactly sure what I got from the red ant faction raid because I wasn't even paying attention. But we're going to be paying attention here. So in my inventory, you're going to see all I have is I have myself 14 bandages. I have the spicy coltana. I have the crow crossbow. And we're using roly poly armor here just so we can make sure we stay alive. I did max all this stuff out. So we should be able to kill things pretty easily. For statuses, I don't have a lot unlocked on here. I'm just using Ant Annihilator and Spicy Safety. So we'll take less damage if we get attacked. Now, one thing of note is I did leave the... I left these two walls basically here without spike traps around them to see if they will end up attacking those two walls. And we'll see what happens. I have run a couple of these earlier today. And that's the reason I'm making this video because the rewards I got earlier were 
just basically really underwhelming. So we're gonna see what happens with this one. So let's start this thing up and you'll have to let me know whether you agree or disagree with me in terms of whether or not you think the rewards for this thing are underwhelming or if you think they're kind of fair. So as a reminder, let's see, did they actually eat them up? Yeah, we put eight bug part, eight amp hearts in there. So let's see what we end up getting from this raid. So right now it's saying they're coming from that direction. And of course it's gonna change because usually they come from the red anthill if you're over here. Now I did run a, a, a couple of these against termites up by the the gardening glove that was up there that's up there and those were like hit or miss sometimes the the termites would make their way across the leaf and sometimes they wouldn't so let's just start tearing these guys up so as you can see they're actually this time these guys are not even they're just going straight at whatever they can get to guide to the spike we're gonna have to make sure we get all of their resources okay now, this one's not going to be that big because I didn't put a lot of resources in there. If you put in a bunch of soldier ant mandibles, the, you'll get a lot more soldier ants, it seems like. But as you can see, you can basically just stand up here. If you have mushroom walls, these things are not going to get through the mushroom walls. And for some reason, they don't, they're not even trying to like jump over and get me. So that one died to the spikes. And I think this is time-based. I don't even know. Like, We'll see. This guy's just sitting in the spike. It's gonna be hard to hit. Yeah. Did we win? Is more coming? Let's see if we get a message. Base defended. Successful base. So as you can see, nothing is in here. It consumed the parts we had in there, and my inventory is currently empty. I have no parts in there. I have nothing in there except for the. Whoops. I'm gonna take damage. Only thing I have in there is my weapons and armor. So let's pick up all these bugs and see what we get. want to make sure we collect all of them because this is basically all the rewards you're getting so let's go all the way around make sure we didn't miss any and we'll just wait to make sure the little corpses despawn so that's basically it i don't see any more anywhere else we'll make sure none fell i don't think any fell but you're gonna end up seeing like i said we put eight red amp hearts in there and we did kill quite a few soldiers let's see what i was actually in our inventory so we put in eight red amp hearts and in this case we got back Eight right amp hearts. So we broke even. I can tell you that I ran a couple of these earlier and I ended up, I ended up actually losing resources. I had a negative return. Now, of course, in addition to the fact that the that I got exactly this, the you're gonna notice like a lot of these structures probably took damage. So let me craft myself real quick. I will craft myself a repair tool. I should have had this in my inventory just to show you. Craft myself the repair tool. So we're just gonna see how many of these things are actually messed up. So not a ton. So this wall took some damage. This took some damage. So basically the gist of this is in this example, I killed all the bugs that were sent to me. I didn't take any damage, but I'm obviously going to have a little bit of durability loss on my crossbow because I used it and maybe my sword. But I also took damage to my base here, which means these things are going to have to be repaired. So basically what ended up happening was I put in eight parts. I got back eight parts. So a net like neutral there, but I'm having to repair my base. So this was like just completely underwhelming. And actually some of these over here are taking damage too. So like, actually I might've touched one of those myself, but basically I think you can see the gist of this. This thing is completely underwhelming and this is not a mixer on the go, in my opinion. This is just like, this is honestly, if I would, if I was, if they don't change this, my, as of right now, today, as I'm recording this, I would recommend if this is not changed when you're watching this, don't ever use this thing because I can tell you from I can tell you from the testing and from other people's testing on this, the rewards you're going to get are very poor. When I did the termite raid, I put in four ki termite king carapaces, the rarest termite part, two termite soldier mandibles, and I got back. I think I ended up getting back like somewhere like four or six termite parts because a bunch of the termites fell down in the caverns and I didn't get credit for it. So because I didn't kill them. And at most, I think I got maybe like six or eight termite parts, but I basically put it in rare parts and didn't get them. So. Basically, what you're doing here is you're getting for each of these raids. For the bees, you're only going to get bee fuzz. For the mosquitoes, I believe you only get mosquito beaks. For the, I was told for the for the spider one, you can get web fiber. Although when I did it, I did a mix of the ants and the spiders. I got one orb weaver junior, and it dropped a. I don't, maybe it didn't drop anything. So perhaps the orb weavers drop web fiber, which may be semi useful. But let's be honest, you can go through the hedge and get dot, like stacks of that if you really want it. And then the infected, you have to put in fungal growth and get back fungal growth. So. Good luck trying to get a profit out of that or like, yeah, just getting back more than you put in. So while in on paper, this sounds like a great idea. Once again, it's just like under delivered. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure who tested this thing out and said, yeah, that's like the mechanics of it are great, but the rewards are just 
as many things are in this game, like it's like the the idea is great, but the execution just is underwhelming. I feel the same way about weapon upgrades, and now I feel the same way about armor upgrades. They have these great ideas, but somehow they end up just executing on they under they under deliver when it ter in terms of execution and. In terms of like the weapon upgrades, they really never addressed those very much. They didn't get rid of the combat system that nobody like or most people didn't like. So far, they're kind of band-aiding the armors and the mixers are one time. So I we'll see if they actually fix these things and make them useful. But as I said, right now, these things are I don't run these things. They're completely a waste of time. At the very best, you're gonna end up getting back perhaps a couple more resources than you put in. But at the worst, you're gonna end up getting back nothing. Or you're gonna end up getting back less than you put in, and you're gonna end up fighting tougher enemies. I just killed a bunch of soldier ants. As you saw, I got no mandibles. I didn't get any red ant heads. Mandibles are the only thing you would really want from ants. And if you're fighting this, uh, the termites, if I put in the termite carapace, I mean, I guess the termite king is not gonna spawn. But like, why would you even allow us to put that in? So how would I fix this? Because I always like to give the feedback of how I would fix it. I think you should be able to put every single type of bug part in here, and you should be getting back some type of multiplier. So when I put the red ant parts in here they shouldn't have been consumed they should have like as time went on they should go up and when it's finished i should end up if i succeed if it says base defended you get to withdraw all the ones that are in there and if you fail then you lose all of it that's it like you win or lose if you win you get everything if you lose you get nothing but you should at the very minimum get back more than you put in and also like at the very like at a bare minimum the things you're killing should drop the resources they're supposed to drop if i kill a soldier ant i should get mandibles if i kill a termite soldier i should get back the termite soldier mandibles and i shouldn't even be able to deposit the termite king carapace because the termite king is not going to come during the raid so why would i waste those and it would be great if they could maybe maybe they could just turn this into the function that i was asking for for the mixers maybe we'll go put twinkling shells in there and of course we're not going to get attacked by scares maybe you put twinkling shells in and the risk of that is you get attacked by i don't know ladybird larva or something like that or ladybirds i don't think it would be fair to get attacked by a black ox beetle or a roly-poly because they would probably just destroy your walls in one hit and that would be super frustrating but ladybird larva they're annoying enough and the ladybirds do do a decent chunk of damage so having them be able to guard again or attack us and not be able to get back twinkling shells would be great let me put in five twinkling shells and if i succeed i get 10 if i lose i lose my five twinkling shells i think that'd be a great risk reward it would make these more useful it would make it where maybe they don't have time to make the mixers repeatable like we want them but they could use the wafters for that so anyway like i said don't run these things i don't recommend running them right now i will let you know if they're if they change them in the public test server before, or before the update actually goes live if they do change them i will make sure that i go back in and retest them but as of right now they are underwhelming they're not worth running and don't even waste your time on them so anyway before i wrap this up what i want to do is i'll make sure i thank my channel members for helping me make videos like this possible especially matthew campbell and all the rest of you guys thank you guys so much for supporting the channel if you guys want to learn more about memberships click the join button below or the link down in the description if you made it this far make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video.